Haven't you always wanted to make a hovercraft out of a CD? Well, now you can. Today on TJ How To's, we will be making a hovercraft out of a disc. And the things you will need is a disc, which we just have a blank DVD disc. And you don't want to use one that you like, because it will most likely get scratched. Um, obviously. Yeah, it's going to be scraping across the floor. And uh, you also need a, a balloon. Yep. This is essential. Yeah, and you will need a, uh, a water bottle cap, just a normal size water bottle cap. The size of the balloons that we have here is 12 inch by 30 centimeters. Yep. 30 Dash four seventy something like that, and we also have our signature knife that we use for everything. Yep, and that's used to cut a hole in the bottle cap. And you'll also need a hot glue gun, also signature. Sure. Okay, so we will be back with the steps on how to make your uh, very own hovercraft. All right, so we. Uh, I'll be making this because it's it's finally my idea as I said the other times is Tyler's idea yep. Yes, Tyler's, Tyler's just over there Say, say hi Tyler Hi <laughs> Yeah that voice So the first well, I, I already made this hole here About about that size <clears throat> is the angle of the camera for that. About, about there. Yeah. See the size of that? See the so size of that hole? just cut a hole in it with the knife. And that knife there. Yeah. No no, no brand recognition over here. No. No sponsors. And, uh... So what you want to do... You want to get... These balloons here. <clears throat> you want to wrap it around... The cap. The so, top of the cap. Yeah. Or the, the top of the cap. So, f cap face up. Man, why am I so, such a hard time doing this? Just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. Okay. Make sure it's decently centered, something like that. Yep. You didn't do it wrong. Because if you do it wrong, basically done you have to restart at least that's my experience of it because I've done it uh, one time a couple times and I'm not there's one over there that I made pretty cool I yeah, like it it works pretty well too it does work pretty well so yeah that's it's about you want you want it centered like that it's not perfectly centered but Actually, all right. There you go, like that. Oh, that's good. It's good. You can see that. Yep. Okay. So this right. is when you bring out the hot glue gun. The signature hot glue gun, yes. Amazing. Put it right in the middle of the uh, DVD's hole, right there. The DVD's hole, yet? Yeah. Sure. I don't know. It's probably a specific name for that hole. Who knows? It's, it's the Glugan Schleimer. That that's the one. Yep. I think I think I need more glue. Actually I might be able to no, I need more glue. Tell you, can you reach into the closet over there? Yeah. There you go. I didn't realize I did. Now you wanna glue all the way around the cap. Yeah, this thing looks gross. It's like orange. Yeah. So you want to glue all the way around the cap. Make sure that no air escapes from the sides. Well, it actually do it doesn't really matter, but it would help. It would give you a better effect. Not really effect, better performance. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can I see it, Tyler? Is it good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. I just want to wait for that to dry. 
so we'll just be back when it uh when it's dried. Yep. Oh, you're gonna pass out there for a second. Okay, this is after you blow through that hole there that you have at the bottom of your disc. This is what you should have. Your disc and a blown up balloon. Yeah. It it may not look very pleasing, but trust me, it's worth it. Yeah. Okay, so let's grab the camera, Justin. We'll show them on the floor. It's a bit smoother. All right. Okay. So, we'll just place it down here. Yeah, what's the angle look like? It's good. Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay. There we Can't go. really see your face, but it's good. Oh, that's fine. You don't need to. You just need to see the, the lever okay. crack. So once you release your thumb from the hole. He's flying around. Boom. That's how you do it. We'll give you one more test. Okay, so here's the second test of the uh, hovercraft. Make sure it's smooth. Okay, so just let your thumb uh, go off the hole, and here we go. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's uh, the floor's smooth, otherwise it'll start bumping into crap, and it's just gonna, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So here's what it looks like without your uh, your balloon. Your balloon. Just say it's all squeezed out. <laughs> Not doing any. Just kind of sliding and then stopping. Only way you can make it really go fast if you whip it. Even then, then it just stops like it has brakes. Yeah, it's not cool. So uh, that was just the second test, and we'll uh, bring it back to the desk. That was our tutorial on how to make a hovercraft and show and uh, the demo demonstration. Say demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> on so, uh, how it works. Yeah. So this pretty. was his idea. Yeah. Finally. And, yeah, and it worked out pretty well. Oh, and I, I forgot. I got a new haircut. My my luscious locks. <laughs> his luscious locks. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. So that was uh, yeah our video on an easy homemade uh, hovercraft. And take us away, Justin. All right, we are TJ How Tos, and we're out. <laughs>